Alright guys, how's it going? KGP3 here with some quick gaming news for you. So pretty much my next couple of gaming news, including this one, will be some recent news that came out this week. Uh, well, there was some news I really want to talk about. want to have some discussion videos, hopefully this weekend, if I'm not busy. And um, yeah, I was just pretty much busy throughout this week, and I wasn't able to make any. So next couple of videos will be kind of news slash current, depending on if some news do come out this Friday, which I'm actually recording now. All right. So yesterday, um, Quantum Break has been confirmed to be delayed for the Xbox One uh, to 2016. Now, two weeks ago, it was rumored to be delayed. Um, rumored to be delayed 2016. Now it's actually been confirmed. Uh, Microsoft pretty much themselves said, you know, it, it's it's good to push it back to 2016 because there's a lot of big games coming out in 2015 in the fall, which is pretty good. Um, and they are also correct. You know, there's three main games on top of my head that I can think of: Halo 5 Guardians, which was confirmed to come out 10. I mean, <laughs> which was confirmed, confirmed to come out October 27th this year. Um, you know, yeah, limited time, exclusive Tomb Raider, Rise of Tomb Raider, which is supposed to come out sometime 2015. And you have a new Four Horizon game, I believe, that's coming out in 2015. So there's a lot of big, very big, heavy titles in the fall. And Microsoft, you know, seems like it's going to be on the right track for the Xbox One this, you know, at, at the end of this year. Uh, on top of that, you know, just based on Quantum Break, you know, being delayed, you know, many people could expect that because we, from the lack of trailers and lack of gameplay we've seen, I think the last gameplay video we've seen was about a couple of months ago. That's that's like a drought between here and there. Uh, you know, many people like myself could assume that the game is going to be delayed and pushed back to 2016. And, you know, Model 4, I never really had any bad things about delayed games because delayed games will just pretty much, you know, uh, just keep the potential up. Uh, developers will take their time with it, and and, and they de if they delayed it, be they delayed it because of you know they probably seen stuff you know that didn't live up to their expectations, and you know just want to make it the very full potential they want to be, and that's pretty much what we want for game. You know we want to play it at the at its at its absolutely best. You know we don't want to be any you know unbroken games or any unfinished games and stuff like that you know we've seen some games last year that sort of had that kind of problem and we don't really want to repeat a 2015 so just take all the time you need and yeah I've been, and uh yeah just take all the time you need patient is patient is indeed the key also PlayStation the home uh yesterday the service was shut down last year around the same time they said april 2nd sony said that uh PlayStation home for the ps3 would be shut down and indeed it is Many people are pretty happy. Some people, I guess you could say, are, are kind of happy as well. Uh, me personally, I only played or experienced around three, four times when I got my PS3 back in 2008 Christmas. Uh, it's supposed to be like this virtual world where you can talk to your friend, you know, you know, talk about gaming and stuff like that. Uh, I, I remember Sony having a lot of trailers pretty much saying this is like one of the next big things and it didn't really live up to the expectation. You know, that's why many people are not that, are not that keen of it. And I know some people that like it. I know some people that Oh, majority I know I know majority of people that don't like it, and, you know, for different reasons. Can't kind of understand, but then again, I can't really because last time I played it was like early 2009. Probably been a lot of updates since then, you know, from there to 2015. There's been, you know, a long drought for me, so I don't know. I can't really say that much about it. From my experience, that was all right. You know, a couple of my friends, you know, we was in there, we was talking, we was chatting and stuff like that. I did only use it a limited time because most of the time I think I was gaming on like Killzone 2 or something like that. Killzone 2 or Call of Duty 2 or Uncharted 2 around the time. So most of my time was on that. I didn't really use PlayStation at Home that much. But I, I just used it to just pretty much, you know, because my friends were using it. We was gathering around. We was talking about some stuff. And it was all right for that limited time. But I haven't played it. Like I haven't used it a long range of time. So. Uh, I guess it's a different experience for me and for many people. So that's pretty much about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this gaming news. KTV3, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later on my next gaming news video. Have one for day, everybody.